everybody. Welcome back. I am here with a bonus video. Yes, a bonus video. Do you see what's on my pay my table? Oh my gosh. We're finishing this. Why? Because I have something special for you. So let's do this. Let's grab our brown marker and let's color this in. And even though it says five, you know that I have been saving $15 all along right so let me grab my correct binder which is my small savings challenges i feel like this has been a staple on fridays forever and now it gets to come out it gets to come out today we are adding 15 dollars Ooh. Not Roger, but we're grabbing this and we're adding $15 to this, to today. All right. Why are we adding this? Because I want to show you something. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We should have $330 in here. 10, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's 305, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. $330. We're going to take this. This is what we're doing. We're taking this and one, two, and three, and 10, 20, 30, because that's what I have. We have $330 in placeholders. We are putting it in the envelope, grabbing the bell and we are then going to grab the blue folder which i have to tell you every time i put it down i put it somewhere different i'm putting this in here and then what we're going to do is we're going to then take out our sinking funds one and we're going straight over to Thanksgiving, which is over here. Oh, this is so exciting. Both videos, we got to add it. So we are, today is 11-7. 11, 7, 11-7-23. We're adding $330 to this. So that means we have $470. Oh, this is wild. So wild. Four hundred seventy dollars. Ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty. Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven. Four hundred and seventy dollars saved for just Thanksgiving food. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I am not going to need four hundred and seventy dollars. Hence why we're doing this video this is my thanksgiving to-do list do you see this this is going to be linked in that description box below hold on let me let me i need i need to have a thumbnail for you all so i want you all to see this as my thumbnail why because it's going to gear you towards my channel and you're going to know exactly what I'm up to when you see something familiar and I didn't want you to miss this so this is going to be free linked down below it's going to be in the freebie file go check out that file this is what I'm doing I am going grocery shopping tomorrow so this is my 11 2023 list now this is my list from last year you want to go over it with me hang out if not go grab the freebie and do whatever you wanted to do this evening but i thought it'd be fun if we go through it together so right off the bat i need a turkey that's probably about 24 pounds i go for the bigger turkey because my hubby loves leftovers and then Vinny loves leftovers. I send some home to TJ's house and I send some down to my sister's house. 
Then I need potatoes. And if it'd be, it would help if I knew how to spell potatoes. <laughs> and I'm thinking 10 pounds. I get yams and stuffing. And I like, I got to answer the phone because Kaylee was messaging me. Um, can you hold on one second? I'm so sorry. That was TJ. Um, let me go back to stuffing. I like the Pepperidge Farm um, stuffing, and I like to get three bags of that. Then I like to buy the biscuits, and then I make my own gravy. So I have cornstarch, but I like to write gravy down. I like to get a huge thing of green beans, corn, I get fresh carrots, broccoli, cranberries, and then cranberry sauce. sauce. Then I love, I love Brussels sprouts. I'm the, I think I'm the only one. Do you guys like Brussels sprouts? Um, chicken broth for the next day to make s uh, soup. And then um, I buy anisette and, or fennel. If you are Italian, it's almost like the Italian celery. And it's just to cleanse the palate. It's amazing. Uh, pie shell. I only have to make one pie this year. Actually, I think I have to make two. Um, pie shell graham cracker, graham. And then I already have the other pie shell. And I have to ask John, does he want apple or cherry? He is the only one that likes pie. Um, I love the chocolate pudding pie, which is a staple. Kaylee says she's making a um, cheesecake this year. I like to have ice cream on the side. And then I make my own whipped cream with heavy cream. Do you all do that too? All right. Then for the antipast. For us, we start at 12 o'clock on the dot. As soon as Santa comes down Broadway and turns into Macy's, Antipast gets served. Yep, as soon as Santa Claus shows up on the Thanksgiving Day Parade, Thanksgiving starts in our home. So this is what I like to have. I do the Italian meats. So I do mortadella, um, brujute, um, gabagol, salami, Supersad, and then TJ likes ham, and Vinny likes, believe it or not, even though we are having turkey for dinner, Vinny likes the turkey at lunchtime. Don't ask me. I don't do that. Then we, I get the fresh mozzarella with tomatoes, and then I get olives. I get the all the I get the green, the calamante, and then uh, the black olives. Then we get pepperoncinis and sun-dried tomatoes. I get hard and soft bread. For the, and I make my own sliced spaghettis, and then I buy the Italian cheeses, which is the port of, um, the uh, provolone, and all the other ones. For me, uh, just it's not complete without those. I do artichokes, stuffed peppers, and I have to buy cream cheese.
Because I make, and blue cheese, I got to write that, blue cheese, because we do stuffed celery. Do you ever have that where you mix blue cheese and cream cheese together, and then you just take celery and you lay it on the top of the celery? Oh, it's delicious. Um, I need celery. Our celery has to be on this side. Blue cheese and cream cheese. And um, <laughs> we have to have drinks for the littles, which um, juice boxes. Juice boxes. No one really drinks wine, but I'll, I will get beer. Beer and then um, for breakfast, John likes to have a cinnamon roll. And I will have, um, I like to buy fresh oranges. And we usually um, juice them ourselves. I have an antique juicer. I'll show it to you one day where John just sits there and he makes fresh orange juice. And that is my grocery list. So tomorrow, I'm going to go get the beginning necessities. Anything that's canned, jarred, and... I will tell you what I spend tomorrow. But then as far as the Italian meats and the Italian breads, I can't get them until the Monday of Thanksgiving week. But I'm starting this week because I like to have everything done in case we have a snowstorm. I will tell you, um, I'll tell you this. I like to be ahead, right? I, I, and you guys know that about me. So one year, my sister was hosting Thanksgiving right here on my property in her house. And our brother was coming um, all the way from Hawaii. We had no snow whole year it snowed that Wednesday or Tuesday before Thanksgiving that year long story short he actually made it here for dinner stayed overnight and then he went back and did his own stuff but he made it here and I had everything ready for it because I'm ahead of the game I'm right that Monday or whatever that that day was, I don't even know what the day was, but I had to go get the Italian meats and we had the snow started and the local road got closed because of an accident. So if, if I was here, all I had to do was get here in a straight line. They detoured us up this road, this road that I had to take all the way around to get to here is uphill, up on a cliff, no exaggeration, to the point where this side is the cliff, this side is the road, and this is a mountain. So when they detoured us, there was a car in front of me that did not have four-wheel drive. The old man kept going up, taking a towel out of the back seat of his car, putting it under his tire, drive over it, then kept doing that. Let me tell you something. Let, let me tell you something. I have, I have nightmares about this day. Nightmares. Because I couldn't go, right? I, could, I had to wait for him to do his thing to get up the mountain or else he was going to slide back into me. But all of a sudden, my car started sliding backwards. And I remember that Rob Thomas... New York Christmas was playing on the radio. This is how much I remember this in detail. Rob Thomas was playing on the radio. And I remember all of a sudden my car sliding backwards. And all I can think of was there's a cliff on the other side. Like, I was going to fall off the damn cliff. I did not. Thank the good Lord. Got up the hill to the four-way, four-corner. The man went straight. I started coming this way to come back home, but I'm the type of person that 
I let things build up, build up, build up, and then I explode. And let me tell you, I exploded on her because I was just like, I have everything ready days in advance. You don't wait till the last minute to do something, blah, 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 blah. I was a lunatic because I was scared. So I was always a prepper beforehand, get everything done, get everything ready. Don't take unnecessary chances. Hence, why I am shopping this week for Thanksgiving. And if there was a snowstorm, I wouldn't need everything. I would, I would, I'd be okay. I'd so be okay. Um, but you'd still have a Thanksgiving meal at my home. So anyways, yeah, there are so many reasons to my madness. It's, it's, there's a reason for everything, right? And this is it. But I want you to take this list, compile it for yourself, enjoy it. Just let me know whether or not you're downloading it. Let me know if you started your Thanksgiving. Let me know what you got going on. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the freebie. Have a great day. And I will be back here tomorrow with more savings challenges. Bye, everybody.